also working with um, UTS in Sydney and University of Queensland in developing other kinds of ways of interacting with um, Jam to Jam. And um, yesterday I um, had the uh, opportunity to, to see uh, some of these kinds of um, different ways of interacting and also different ways of um, uh, making sound through different kinds of gestures. What I'm going to show you now is just a, a kind of really two or three minute um, um, video of different kinds of ways of interacting with music and um, you know by using different controllers. And this comes from uh, Associate Professor Bert Bongers, who's a, a, a Dutch academic who works at um, University of Technology in Sydney. Um, his, him and his um, uh, graduate students uh, are working with um, uh, different ways of giving access to musical or media experience. behind his work is, is probably um, uh, uh, two things that we can start to do with this kind of um, technology. One is that we can give access to people um, who can't play instruments for whatever, instru uh, whatever reason um, and, and give expressive control to people um, who, who ordinarily might not have access or experience with those kinds of things. The other um, application of that is to build installations or buildings where, um, uh, where you're interacting with different objects and, uh, and different kinds of gestures, making different kinds of um, gestures and, and turning that into uh, a sound experience. So uh, we've been talking with the, uh, uh, the State Library of Queensland um, and galleries um, and they see the idea of being able to put, you know, gallery material in um, in their um, uh, 
uh, in the visual materials and, um, and choosing their own oral material and allowing people to come in and, and remix and, and perform with the, uh, whatever the exhibition might be. <laughs>